Hello, my name is Arlene and welcome to the February support group and the topic for this month will be instead of and Shauna will be um, talking to you about uh, nutritionally things that you could do instead of and Ryan he will be talking to you about things that you could do exercise instead of. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Shauna. I was gonna do the instead of's for the nutrition portion here. Um, I have just a few tips on some instead of one thing, try another thing just for some calorie savings, some health benefits, and to get a little more protein in our diet to balance out our meals and snacks a little more. So I'll show you a few of those. So the first one I wanted to start with is some veggies. A lot of times we have dips, or um, one of my favorite is buffalo chicken dip, and I have a low fat recipe for that. But a lot of times our dips or hummus or anything like that are served with chips, which can really amount to a lot of calories. Um, I have an example here. Um, so instead of those chips, uh, pita chips, crackers, any type of tortilla chips, choose raw carrot chips. You can either use carrot sticks or uh, they do sell the carrot chips some places where you can buy them in a bag or you can get celery, cucumbers chopped up into little chip sized pieces or pepper strips. And if you use those, you have a calorie savings of 80 to 105 calories with just a one serving of chips. And it's very hard sometimes to stick to one serving of chips. You'll feel fuller too, because these veggies have fiber in them. The next one, many of you probably already do this, but if you haven't, or if you're afraid to try it, I really encourage you to try it because I get a lot of good feedback on how good these actually are, for, especially for post-ops that may not tolerate your regular carbs as well. I think they're delicious. And I do a lot of this myself in recipes. If I'm cooking for my family, I, I'm, I'll make myself the rice cauliflower just um, to keep a little more veggies in, in my portion. Um, my boys are growing, so they need the regular rice all the time. So instead of rice and recipe, if you put a rice cauliflower, I cheat, I get the frozen bags that you just throw in the microwave to steam. You'll save 50 to 60 calories for a half cup. So half a cup of rice is about 100 calories and half a cup of, and that's cooked of course, and then half a cup of rice cauliflower is only 40 calories. And then the other one I have here is the zoodles instead of pasta. Zoodles, you can buy pre-made, but they're gonna be a lot more expensive that way. I choose to just buy, you can buy the little handheld spiralizer. They sell them a lot of different places right now. You can get it on Amazon. You don't have to get the big fancy one that sits on your counter. You can just get the handheld. And if you zoodle a zucchini through that, your calorie savings from a cup of pasta or any type of noodles, that's gonna be approximately 200 calories. And these are all approximations. It really depends on the types of foods that you're getting or how finely things are chopped, but these are just estimates versus one cup of zoodles, which are the zucchini noodles, which are only 25 calories, you're gonna have a savings of like around 175 calories. So you don't, number one, you don't need to feel guilty if you have more than one cup of the zoodles. And the zoodles really just serve as a vessel for whatever sauce that you're putting with it. So if you have a good uh, tomato sauce that has lots of veggies in it and some meat of your choice or protein of your choice, it ends up being a really yummy meal. Then, instead of sour cream on your tacos, soups, chili, or if you're having a small baked potato, plain Greek yogurt is definitely a great substitute. Trust me, I've snuck it in on my family and they haven't noticed a difference. So it really is, um, I know Greek yogurt, plain Greek yogurt especially, it's kind of bitter, but it really does take the place of sour cream. Even in cooking, if you're cooking in a recipe and it calls for sour cream, you can easily substitute this. So half a cup of sour cream is around 240 calories. Half a cup of Greek yogurt, depending on if it's fat-free, 2% or full fat, it's gonna be 60 to 100 calories for that half cup. Plus it has 11 grams of protein. So you're still saving 140 to 180 calories on that half a cup. Now, another option or thing you can do with the Greek yogurt is make a yummy high protein vegetable dip. So your calorie savings here is gonna be the same. Um, so instead of using a regular veggie dip, which is gonna be similar to the sour cream, you can just take some light ranch dressing mix and mix it into your sour or your Greek yogurt for a healthy high protein snack. All right, this is one of my favorites because I love tortillas, I love quesadillas, I love wraps, I love all that good stuff, so, and tacos. 
So if you're using a wrap, this is a, these are really good. These are my favorites, um, specifically the Tomorrow's and Olay. They're, they're really good low carb wraps. So these low carb wraps are about 60 calories. Some might be 70, but around 60 calories, 11 grams of carbs, eight of which are fiber. So that is a really good complex carb because you're getting a lot of fiber from them. Um, versus a regular wrap, even if it's a whole wheat wrap or a spinach wrap, those can be anywhere from 140 to 210 or maybe even more depending on the brand and depending on the size of the wrap that you choose. So that calorie savings is about 80 to 150 calories. That's pretty significant if you eat tortillas on a regular basis. There's a lot of different light bread options out there too. So uh, if you find something you like on the occasion that you do wanna have a little bit of bread and you wanna try a light bread, great. Otherwise, just keep your portions smaller. So those were just a few of my instead of that I like to suggest and use myself. Uh, so if you have any others, feel free to share with us. Thank you very much. Oh man, it's cold and rainy today coming to work. Oh, let's see here, finding a spot. Oh, front row parking. Nah. Gotta get my steps in. We need to find that far parking spot. What an opportunity. This is the spot I'm looking for. All right, here we go. All right. Wait a minute. I could get a workout in. Push ups. Yes. Yes, jumping jacks. Feel better. Need a refill of water. Oh, more steps. Wait, even more steps. <laughs> One in the office. All right. All right. Got to send this email out here. Wait a minute. What am I doing? I could walk and go talk to that person. More steps. Hi, my name is Emily Deet. Um, I am a patient of um, Dr. McBee's. He did my surgery about a year ago, December 17th, 2019. Um, oh, yeah, 2019. Um, I got um, RNY, or the gastric bypass surgery, and it was probably the best decision of my life. Um, as many of you have probably been through, I was overweight my entire life. Um, as a child, as a teenager, as an adult, I was overweight. I was always the fat kid. I was always uh, the one that couldn't run the mile. Um, but I lived with it. I, I excelled in school and I did great in other things. 
But then I realized it was taking a toll on how I was living. I couldn't go on roller coasters with my nephews. I couldn't play outside with my nephews and I needed a change. And I tried so many things on my own before. Um, I did all different types of diets. I worked out and it wasn't working on my own. So I knew I needed help. Um, and the reason I went with LGH is because they had three sort of four stem approach. They had the, uh, the physician, the doctor, the surgeon, um, they had the nutritionist part and they also had the exercise uh, physiologist part as well. And the third part is that they made me go through a psyche bow, which I knew that mentally eating was a large mental component for me. Um, I used eating as coping and I used it for a lot of other things. So I like that they had this four stem approach. Um, and that's why I went with LGH. Um, I looked at other programs and I looked at other ways to lose weight, but this was the one that was right for me. And that honestly worked out the best for me. Um, some things that I would say is that Get as much information as you can. Talk to as many other patients as you can. Um, one thing that I liked is I went on Facebook and Instagram and I found some other um, accounts on there of bariatric patients. Now, you have to go and understand that not all of them are good. Not all of them are gonna give you the right information. Not all of them are gonna give you what you're looking for, but there are some very good ones out there. Um, there are some that are very truthful out there. They tell you about the hair loss. They tell you about the ups and the downs. Um, I will say there are a lot more ups than downs, but there are times where you sit and you're like, why did I have this surgery? I remember, I think a month after surgery, I was watching TV and saw a commercial of a hamburger and started crying because I couldn't have a hamburger yet. All I wanted was a hamburger and I couldn't have it. Um, but I also was down a very considerable amount of weight. So you have to remember that there are some give and takes with this process. Um, other things that help me is not comparing myself to others. My journey is completely different than everyone else's. Um, I'm very happy with my journey, and, but when I start comparing myself, I start to put myself down. But when I look at where I was a year ago, it is completely different. My mental state, my physical state are completely different. So do not compare yourself to others. Um, some other things is find what works for you. Um, I really like lifting weights. I like being outside and being active. Um, last night I went for a run in the cold. I thought I would never ever go running in the cold and here I am a year later and I go brave the cold. Um, I like hiking. Didn't know that I would like hiking. Try new things. Your body is going to adapt and is going to allow you to experience new things that you've never done before. Try them. Um, one of my goals is to do a pull up which I have yet to do but I'm getting there. I promise I'm getting there. Yes. There you go. Hold it, hold it, breathe. Woo! John, you're next. Ah, good girl. <laughs> nice um, job. So don't be afraid to try new things. Also, you don't, because you may not have tried things before, you don't know what you might like. Um, like I said, I didn't know I liked hiking until now. Um, other things is, food-wise, know what works for you. When I eat a salad, I don't like the leafy lettuce. I actually prefer coleslaw type mix. I like the crunch. Um, it still fits in with the nutrition plan. It's just what I prefer. Um, the protein shakes that you like might not be the protein shakes that someone else likes. Um, do not base yourself on everyone else. And also, if you have questions, ask the team. They know what they're talking about. They're here for you. Um, they wanna share your exciting adventures. I got to send uh, Kyle and Ryan my box jump and um, balancing on a physio ball. I got to share that excitement with them. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> I am so proud of them. <laughs> but I also call them or text them or call the nutritionist when I'm stuck and I don't know what to do. Um, or I have a question about why my stomach doesn't like water versus water and crystal light. So they're there, utilize them. That's what they're there for. They love to do their job. Um, that's all I have. <laughs>